I got, I gotta show y'all something, man. Y'all ready? This is never done before on TikTok. Welcome back to another video! Can you say the rest? You don't know my intro? Hold on, welcome back to another video. It's act the verse! Nope. You know. Nope. What's next? I want to see it with my energy first of all. I did not do, did I not do that? <laughs> That's not my energy. <laughs> welcome back say to it, another video. It's a banger! <laughs> nope, you missed something. Welcome back! To another video of Activeverse Universe. I it's said not, that. It's not. It's Activeverse Universe. We'll come back to another video of Activeverse Universe. Go ahead. Does it have to be the same? Yes. Video? Yes. It's my intro, babes. You're, you're telling me right now you don't watch my videos. I watch your videos. I don't memorize your intro. All I, I, I Go just. Ahead. By the time you say, we're back. That's all I say for the rest of the intro. And we back to another video. By then you're already like intro. No, it's welcome back. Now we back. I said that. No. Okay. You said we back right now. Earlier you did say welcome back. So let's do the whole outro. Go. Intro. Intro, yeah. Welcome back to another video at of, at of? of Activerse Universe. And, to and today we got another video oh. for you guys. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this is. It's a banger. It's Trust me. It's if you cringy. don't like it, you can comment. Cringy. But I, I don't do this for you guys. So I'm cringy. It's, and you go on a rant about whatever. It's like, if you don't like it, I don't care. We got the notification gang, the day one. So and then you go in the whole sermon about your day ones. And then it says, now, intro. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'll throw yourself out this car. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today. We got another banger, 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 banger. So what we're gonna do today is after she ruined my intro, guys, we're gonna have to redeem everything. Okay? I made it better. <laughs> Some jewelry's in my hair. One of the last videos. Check that out. And. Uh, I took the pocket knife down. I know y'all somewhere y'all seen it on uh, my Instagram. But today is a this today is a different day. <sighs> what am I saying? Today is a different day. Today is a new day. Today is a new day. Topics. You have to say it with like with your guts to it, babe. I can't. It hurts my throat. Gotcha. Cause you see, you saying it with your throat. I say it with my stomach. It's a new day. Say that's with again. my stomach. Today is a new day. There you go. That's, that's what it. my stomach. Yeah, that's that's kind of sounds like me. No, don't. Today is a new day. That's not how you say it. Yeah, that's how I say it. Say it, say it the way you say it. Today is a new day. You're telling me that's not your throat? It's on the throat, but mostly it's stomach. Of course your throat has to work. Your esophagus has to push out. All right. Now. All right. Today, I basically, what I'm going to be showing you guys is the day in the life of a dread head, man. I never did this before. A vlog. I don't give you guys vlog. And if you guys really enjoy my vlog, make sure you you shook the whole car with that screen. Yeah, I did. Make sure you spam the comments. Let me know. Vlog, vlog, vlog. Let me get a vlog and notification. Gang! But before we get into the video, here is... Intro! Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Go ahead and play the intro. Oh. Intro! Yo, dude, hey, yo, dude, looking real. Check out the last video. You're welcome. As I was saying, check out the last video of me doing a whole upside down push up. You seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. You seen the change? Mm -hmm. You seen the guns? I've seen it. You seen me in bed? Mm -hmm. So, in the day in the life of this handsome dreadhead, yummy dreadhead, yummy snack. Um, no! I'm normally not with him. Usually I'm at home and he's working, but this morning we went to the bank together and then he was like, you want to just come with me while I'm working? I was like, sure, why not? So we did a few, he works, he does Uber Eats on the side if you guys didn't know. So that's what I went with him to do. Um, but then I got hungry smelling all that food. So now we're at Mickey D's. 
and I'm gonna get some McDonald's got one some of nuggers. Nuggers. Nuggets. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Please cut that out. <laughs> oh. I ain't cutting that part out. Nuggers. Nuggers. <laughs> You got some nuggers, guys. <laughs> no, that's so bad. People are gonna hate me. They're not gonna hate you. You didn't say. I didn't say it. The N word. Yeah. You just said that nuggers. But yeah, so we're gonna get some nuggets, chicken nuggets, and some French fries with some buffalo, some bar barbecue, some ranch, and some ketchup. 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 But one thing is that I don't eat McDonald's, and I do he, not like he eating McDonald's. Doesn't. Except for French fries. So we what I'm gonna get is French fries, and actually, let me talk. Oh, sorry. What I'm gonna get is a French fries, and I'm gonna make sure that she gets a chicken nugget and a French fries. And also, if you guys don't know, they, McDonald's have an app. I'm not getting paid for this, but McDonald's, if you see this, make sure you pay me. Uh, they have an app where they uh, just give you deals and stuff like that, and they hook you up like 10 piece nuggets with free French fries. Mm -hmm. So that she getting that. So after this, um, I'm gonna eat in the car while he's working so that way we can eat together because normally he can't come home for lunch because he's working so this way we can eat together and he's still working i'm just here chilling hi how can i be uh what'd you say go and order when you're ready oh okay yeah can we get a 10 piece nugget and two large french fries any sauce uh yeah barbecue uh buffalo ranch and ketchup please okay i can do barbecue and ranch but we are out of buffalo all right can we let me get ketchup then okay anything else uh, anything else my love no that's all yeah that's it thank you so much you're welcome 11.54 for the place yep i'll we'll change that price Bucks. i mixed together my my old starbucks and it was in the freezer disgusting Oh, <laughs> my Starbucks and Dutch Bros. I'm just kidding. Actually, it tastes very good. I mixed them together. It was a Golden Eagle, um, extra sweetened, um, yeah, freezy. Lord. What else was it? <laughs> from Dutch Bros. And then from Starbucks, it was a fucked caramel milk frap. Yeah, let me tell you guys. So, yeah. You done? Yeah, that's Sorry. it. Sorry. You can job. cut that out. I don't mind. No, I'm not going to cut that out. That's very, like, very, uh, like, impactful. Like, you, you're probably inspiring a lot of youth. To make their own coffee. To make their own coffee at home. Yeah, I just stuck it in the blender. With some leftovers instead of throwing them away. So I blended the frozen one and then I just poured in my Dutch Bros one because that one was melted already. So it helped the texture be better, not just be shaved dice. Yeah, I wanted to say something, right? So like, this is it. All Sorry. Right. So yeah, no, you good. Uh, yesterday we learned something so powerful. Can you tell them? We learned about what comes out of your mouth. <laughs> is what makes you as a person uh, and as your circumstance in life. Like where you at today, your circumstances is what you have spoken into the, in your life and, the, and because of the mindset that you had. So everything that you, let me get back to you. Yes, sir. I have this and I, can I do an Apple Pay too? So it's 11.50 something. Let's see how much it comes back. 8.96, hey, thank you sir. No receipt. Kind of rude, bro. On, let me get the food, okay? This is powerful, what I'm about to say. Super powerful. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yummy. God bless. Dude, they're so rude. They don't say nothing. Like, Can you pray? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going to eat while you're working. Yeah, I'm going to talk to him real quick. Okay. Father God, thank you for this food. Yes. We thank you that it will energize our bodies yes, to do will. what you've called us to do today. We thank you for this day you've given us to spend a little extra time together. And yes. we thank you for all you're providing for us right now as we speak. We thank you and we pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So by the way, check out our family channel because we post more uh, family stuff on there. But today, I just bring her with me. I was going to do just a vlog. As I was saying, we learned something powerful yesterday. And it's about what's, what you speak is what you are, basically. What you get. What you get, yeah. What you speak is what you get. Everything that you, you yeah, everything that you say that, everything that you believe, you are today. Everything you have done before, it added up to where you are today. So how do you change that? How do you change your circumstances? For example, if you're like broke financially, uh, if you're sick physically, if you are emotionally damaged, like how do you go about it? How do you fix it? And we learned that with your mouth, because when God created everything, what did He say? 
Could there be life? And then whenever he created us, what did he say? The same thing, that there be man. And he formed us out of the ground. He formed us, no, he actually breathed on us and he formed us out of the ground, right? And guess what? He told us to do the same thing he was doing. He said, take dominion over this world. Like, basically saying like, what I did, because the Bible says that we are made in his image. So everything that we do, it has to be according to the character of God. Like, what is the character of God? I think that's one thing that that I am trying to get the character of God. How does he does? How does he do things? Because if I'm his son, then I have his character sticks. I have his DNA, Facts. right? Not naturally, but spiritually. Hallelujah. And so, if I'm if he's speaking, then that means that I have the ability to speak. And so, that was powerful that we learned yesterday. Take note, guys. What Make you sure say is important. What you say is important. Yeah. Like you're speaking life. What you say, yeah, you're speaking life. What you say to one another is, is either you speak in life or death. Like, what are you speaking? It's what like, am I speaking to you? It's more than just words. Yeah, if I'm speak, if I'm cussing her out all the time, if I'm calling her a bum, ever like you say little things. Even. You see what you say, so you're gonna see what you say, and but you say what you believe. Oh wow, that's so, powerful. If he believes I'm a bum. I'm gonna be a bum. No, yeah. she's not gonna be a bum right away, but if I keep saying it to her, guess what? Her mind is gonna start perceiving that. Oh, I'm a bum. Oh, dang it, you call me a bum. It's like whenever you call your kids this, 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 that, and this, and this, that, they're gonna grow up to be that thing that you kept on saying. And it's gonna come to pass. It's gonna come to pass. And so, like, in relationship, if she keeps on saying to me, Oh, you not you you don't do anything good, or you break everything, <laughs> or you forget everything. Or you're me. That's what I'm gonna start believing. Yeah, I'm gonna start believing that I'm that person. Mm -hmm. Like, and so we start correcting our mouths and stuff like that. Yeah, and we we watch each other too. Yeah, we do. So it's good to share that with someone so they're like, if I say this, check me, because sometimes I I miss it. Seriously, I think most of the time. That's 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 what helps you, because the Bible says if if two man if one man falls and he has another person with him, guess what? Pick him up. The other person will pick him up. But what will be to him? I don't know if it says it that way, but it sounds like it says it this way. What will be to the one that is by himself? For if he falls down, nobody gonna be there to pick him up. Surround yourself with the like-minded people. Surround yourself with people that that are going in the same direction as you're going. Surround yourself mainly with people that say the right things because they will end up being in the right position. And the Bible says that, the Bible says that, uh, God, God will make um, the rain fall on the just and unjust. So it doesn't matter if you're unjust or unbeliever, it's still what you say is going to end up happening because the rain falls on the just and unjust. What does the rain do? The rain comes to, uh, to water the seed that you said. That's what the rain is for. God made rain so that the ground can be watered, right? Have you ever noticed when you hang out with friends, you start catching up on their catchphrases? Facts. Like, I never used to say, we bet! Now I randomly say because I'm always with him. <laughs> or like, even when I, I don't speak Spanish, but when I would hang out with my friends that do, like, the way I talked English sounded like I had a Mexican accent just because yeah. I was around them so much. It's like, bad company ruins good morals. You good pick manners. it up, whether you want to or not, it's like, you, your surroundings matter. As much as bad company uh, ruin good manners, good good company better your manners, better your life, literally. So I'm mm. I'm glad that I'm tied up with one of the awesome person women of God in my life. Guess what? I'm gonna be a man of God. Hallelujah. I am a man of God. Amen. Amen. Have some ranch. One of the best combo. Try a ranch dipped with a barbecue. So yummy. It's bomb. Literally, that's like my sauce, okay? Like, if you, if you ever, you know what I'm saying, in a family cookout or something like that, and they just pass you the ranch or the barbecue, be like, let me get the ranch. Hi guys, we just got done eating. I think she's eating still. But uh, I'm doing a food delivery, and I brought it with me. Should I cut it through here? Yeah, I'm picking up this food right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm picking up this food. It's like a jerk spot. Say it's jerk spot. Ocho Rios jerk spot. Do jerks eat there? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, Vlog or something? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do YouTube? I was gonna say, I was gonna shout you out. No, no, no. no. I don't do YouTube. You don't do YouTube? What do you do? You just work? <laughs> oh, you just play football? What's school? I go to Mount Boy High School. Oh, okay, okay. 
Yeah. What year? Um, 2022. 2022? Oh, shoot. You're young, bro. Yeah, I moved to ETF for Nikki. People call it all different kind of name, but I go by Diddy. That's the easiest. Yeah. yeah. That's the easiest, you know. Cashy too, like because you know P Diddy. So everybody like that's right. Uh, give me two minutes for this waiting on your office. Who's the owner for this place? Oh, Christopher. Okay. Do you want to talk to him? No, <laughs> I don't want to talk to him. Jamaican? No, I'm not Jamaican. I'm Ethiopian. Ethiopian. Yeah. Sorry. You know what that is? I heard of it. You, are you Jamaican? Yeah. How do you not know Ethiopian? You serious? I'm about, to, I'm, about to, I'm about to expose you, bro. <laughs> How do you not know Ethiopia? You Jamaican? Uh, I've been in Jamaica a couple of times, bro. Oh, you was born out here? Yeah. Okay, so you don't know much. Dad and Ask your dad about uh, Ethiopia, bro. He'll tell you probably a whole, a whole, a whole bunch of stories. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's from um, Portmore, so. Portmore? Yeah. Okay. That's what's up, bro. You speak a... Uh, yeah. I speak the language and everything. I came out here like eight years ago. Salamne? What is your life? What is your Nothing. <laughs> it's like it has its own uh, language, its own like writing and everything. It's like one of the ancient languages in the world. Is that your mom? So, uh, what's up? How you doing? I was talking to your son. I asked him if he know where Ethiopia is. He didn't know where Ethiopia is. <laughs> That's horrible. That's all right. That's horrible. Get home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know uh do you know a lady named Martha? Huh? Are you here anymore? I think so, maybe. Oh, yeah. You know Martha? She used to You can send me Thank you. She used to have a uh, Caribbean place yeah, also. She used, to be, she used here. to be here. That's why I asked him like I was like, who owns this place? And he says dad. Yeah. But uh yeah, I know Martha. She goes to my church. Okay. Like for my wedding I had a uh, hair kit uh, in my food. Oh cool. yeah, it was it was good. Yeah. She moved. She moved, right? Where she go? I, I forgot Indian, to ask her. Indian school in 19th Ave, but I don't know if she's still there. I hear oh, her okay. come in and say that she's not there anymore, so I don't know. Yeah, she's she at. waiting for like a renovation to be done or something like that um, for her place. Why they kick her out of there? I don't think she liked the place. Oh, she liked the place. Yeah. We had to fix it up. It was a lot of work, and it's still not even done. Not even done. Right. So. And you guys just barely opened up, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, still working I'm to, on it. I'm about to check it out, man. But you guys got like the same thing as her? Yeah, pretty much same menu right there. I'm not bored. Oh, that thing right yeah. there? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to check y'all out one of these days, man. You said what? How many things I got? How long you Yeah, just one year. Yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it again. Hey, what? 800. You hit 1K yet? Huh? You hit 1K yet? I, got, I almost got 10K. You almost got 10K? Yeah. Check me out, bro. Check me out. I really, that's what I'm trying to link you up. What do you do? Uh, I do dread hair uh, videos. Uh huh. Um, oh, see, so do the tutorials. I do yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to get your dread? Huh? You wanna get your dress or? I'm growing on my hair. To do what? With it? Just to grow up? <laughs> I don't know. I might get some dreads. Though. I look like a. Are you like a wave guy or are you like dread? I had waves before. You have waves? I can kind of tell. I know. Kind of surfing, but you look, you look yeah. rough. And I do cut hair too, so I do cutting hair videos. Oh yeah, put the notification on, bro. I saw yeah, you want so to do that. You got to, you have to. Man, come on. I used to, I used to do YouTube. I did it for like. Oh, you did it too? I did it for like a month. Let me look you up. What, what is it? This. All right, bro. Don't be, don't be exposed. I'm not gonna expose you. It's, it's big body. Big body. Then booty. Then booty. bopper with two P's. It was my gaming account. I used to do Fortnite. Oh, I used to do Fortnite. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Go check out my food, bro. I gotta go. <laughs> All right, yeah. How you found it? All right, who are you here for? <laughs> Nikki, bro. Nikki? Yeah. Where's Nikki at? I told you it was a movie. The food was ready. They just didn't think you were a Nikki. They said it. Seriously? Yeah, because they didn't know it's got public or whatever. You want to get in drink? No. What you got? Fire? No. Mm -hmm. Fire or what? This is good. All right. All right. Can we put you on? Uh, uh, put it on that orange or something. What's that? Orange? Or pineapple. Whatever you want to grab. Yeah, cause I was talking to the to the kid and uh, what kid? In there? There's yeah. a kid that works there. He's not a kid. He's he's like in high school. Uh, what are you talking about, Jesus? Class of 2020. Oh. No, I was I was talking about my channel and stuff like that, cause he asked me if I was uh, vlogging for anything. Mm. And so I told him I was like, this is my channel and stuff like that, and uh, he was like, oh, okay. Uh, he might be starting his dreadlocks. I thought, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. I got a big head. Oh, he got me up with his drink too. I was like, you sure? And he was like, yeah. Thank you. You're so good with people. Yeah, like, so I try to be. I try to, because I don't understand what awkward is to me. Like, what is awkward? 
like I can I can understand people that are like awkward. They are they are awkward, but I don't I don't get the fact that why it has to be a thing called awkward. Like why did why do we have to create that energy? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like let's not be awkward, man. Let's talk. Like this is life, bro. And some people are like, you know, stiff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I'm good. Like, how you doing, bro? Uh, are you okay? They'd be like, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. All right. Like, bro, you're creating that energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I were to talk to some people that are awkward, I'll tell you this. You can only create. You can only feel what you're feeling because you chose to feel that way. Or you can only create the things that you feel by your own energy. So if you feel like you're awkward, you're, you're the one that's feeling it. You're creating it. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know what I'm saying? that energy man like I get you yeah but like of course some people make that energy so you feel that energy off them that you're like man why are you acting awkward like you know it's not that it's not that awkward yeah or they like very cringy and you so you feel cringy because they're they put in the energy out uh -huh. so I think you can create how you feel like you can say how you feel like also because a lot of times I feel like whenever I catch myself being sad about a situation I I go to the depth of it like why do I feel like that like why do I choose to feel that way and it's crazy because some people can compliment you a hundred times and one person can say some one thing negative and that sticks out out of everything else yeah. you notice that uh -huh. like out of everything that person said or out of everything that all a lot of people said that one thing that that person says like, how would he say that to me how could he say that to me you just meditate on it reminisce it inside of your head and then you just been this way but you get depressed you choose to be depressed or you choose to be sad which I choose not to be so I was telling him I think the reason and like the problem with like depression and stuff like choosing to be in your emotions is that a lot of people think they don't have a choice it's like if I'm sad well then I'm just sad like I must be sad for a reason so let me just be sad even though I know I used to like when I get sad, I listen to sad music, like depressing music, like, like bad music. Mm -hmm. like, I just wanna die. Yeah. I feel or like, like I, uh, uh, I don't, I don't, I know what song you're singing, but I don't can't think of it right that, now. Like that one. Like, no. Oh yeah, the one where people are like this on TikTok. I just feel like that. No, what is that called? The EXO Life or something like that. But I don't know what's called. Lil But Lucy I don't Park? know. Well. <laughs> When I used to listen to music, it was like, like just depressing girl songs, kind of really like. Oh, those ones. Like when a guy cheats heart. on you, and you keep talking about it, and you keep talking about it, so then you keep just picturing it, and keep picturing it, and picturing it, and obviously the music you're listening to isn't helping, or you just crawl up in a ball and choose to cry when you don't have to. You know, obviously you deal with it, don't bury it, but I mean it's like, don't dwell in it, because I think that's the problem. People think like, I'm sad. Oh man, now I now I have to be sad when you don't. Sometimes if I get sad or like I get irritated about something, I'll watch a funny video. Like, I'll snap you out of that. Like I'll I'll look up funny animals and then um I even forget why I was sad. You know, unless it's something like traumatic that I have to deal with, I deal with it. And then I'm like, okay, now that I dealt with it, I'm not gonna keep saying, oh my gosh, remember when that happened? Oh my gosh, it I almost died. I almost like you don't know, watch a funny video. Or I'd put on a funny movie. Like I put on The Grinch. Or um, I used to watch White Chicks a lot. And to say that, like, what I would say is what I would recommend, because in no way, shape, or form, ever anybody's perfect, right? Like when I, when I say when I advise people things and stuff like that, some people will say, "Oh, you're that perfect guy. You're the perfect uh, dude. You know, never had a mistake, never been sad before." No, I'm not saying that. It's it's, it's something that I have uh, learned and wanted to master for a while. It's like I know our pastor always says, quoting Kenneth Hagin, he says, a "Person that can control his soul, his body, and his spirit, basically discipline, make him agree to what's the best." choices is a person that is mature so that's what I'm try I'm thriving for that's what we are thriving for to be a mature person because like when you're a child right you see a candy you want to eat that candy it don't matter what you what 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 the consequences it don't matter if your teeth laid on just you know damaged and destroyed because you're a kid but when you get older you start seeing the effects and the consequences and you start controlling your body 
basically that's that's the same way right? now you're mature naturally right so spiritually emotionally your maturity can be negated based on how you allow yourself to feel a certain way and stay that way or you choose to feel a certain way and stay that way stay that person right there whenever you choose to do what you want to do whatever you choose to say what you want to say you become an immature not just physically but mentally spiritually emotionally think about that that's deep there's two lines. You're pregnant. <laughs> 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 I'm stopping by uh, Sprouts right now to get some some things that we need for the house because everywhere else is closed except for Sprouts right now. So Sprouts, shout out, you know what I'm saying? This is one of your big plugs that I've given y'all, so hit me up. But check, we need some, we need some, let me check the list, okay? The grocery list that she gave me. Spaghetti noodles or a pen? Not pen, but pen, penne, penne. Penne, how do you say that? Penne. By the way, how y'all like this merch? If y'all do like it, y'all want some, man. <laughs> y'all might have to let me know. <laughs> y'all might have to let you buy now. Let's see if I can find like a fat penne. Penne. Is it a penne, penny, pen? I think it's pen. I don't know. They have a lot of healthy options though. Sprill. Ooh, that's lovely. It's good. Something like this. You know what I'm saying? I do like some thick, thick old, thick old macaroni, or what did you call this? Organic reggaetoni, reggaetoni. So we gonna get that. Let me check the next thing: sauce, onions, and some drink. I just got done getting some uh, groceries. Man, people in there like looking at me like, "Do you kind of belong here, bro?" Like we don't see black people here usually. 
And then there's a black dude that's just like looking at me from across. Like I was just like, I was just weirded out, man. I was like, do not do it. Don't black people come in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, whoa, wait a second. So I put my mask on like this, and they even looked at me more. I was like, oh god, dang it. I was like, okay, I'm gonna put this down, and I kept on walking around. They had like four people following me almost. <laughs> I don't know if this is happening for real or they just arranging stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you just you be biased to things. Not biased, but yeah, confirmation bias to things. Uh, at the end, there was like a lady that was getting groceries, and he, she forgot her wallet. And I was like, I got you. Like, don't worry about it. I'll pay for it. And she was like, no, you don't have to do that. It's in my car. Uh, I'll, I'll run out there and get it. It's fine, I'm sorry. And I, I had let her get in front of me also. And whenever I let her get in front of me, she was like, thank you and everything, like nice lady, right? Like I paid for her stuff and she was like, like you didn't have to do that and stuff like that. I was like, it was only like 20 bucks. Like, or yeah, I don't even know how much I spent, but like, and then the ladies were like, man, this is kindness, this is what the, what the, what the world need and everything. And I was like, yeah, at the time like this, man, we need to see more of this, man. God damn, why are you yelling? Hi guys, I just arrived home with my wife. And we about to eat a little bit of Cane's. Um, and then, what are we watching? Avatar. Avatar, one of my favorite show. I think that's my favorite show, actually. I never in a million years thought I would be a person that watches Avatar. Cause it's like, almost like anime, but it's not anime. Someone posted that on their like story. American cartoon. You know what's crazy? On my TikTok, Avatar, Avatar things are popping up now. Crazy, yeah. Huh? It's like, how, how does it know? And then... Did you look up anything on Google though? No, nothing about Avatar. And then also... Yeah, you did, I think. No, I didn't. What did I look up? I mean, you oh, looked up something. Oh, I looked up the four elements. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, you did. Something like that, yeah. Same knows. Google, once Google gets your information, it's just out there. And same with that book, I was the five love languages. I was talking to Asia and India oh, yeah. about. Mm -hmm. Popped up. And I sent them, I was like, what the heck is popping up? But yeah, I never thought I'd be a person that watched Avatar. Like, I'd see it on Nickelodeon, I'd skip mm -hmm. next. Like, I changed to Disney Channel while that was on. Like, mm -hmm. I just always thought it was like this weirdos watching. But well, what do you think about it now, though? It's kind of cute. It's, kinda it's cute, actually right? really cute, like, and I'm happy we like get said, to watch I cartoons. I don't watch like cartoons like that. I, I used to love cartoons, but then uh, this show just like I was addicted. I was literally addicted to the show. Mm -hmm. And then not addicted, like bad addiction. Like, <laughs> it's like I need to finish the show. Just like how you would watch Friends in Office. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Oh no, like that was really bad. But uh. <laughs> Good but I really love that show, Good and hilarious. actually, I was one time talking to uh, Guns of the Great because we was trying to do lo-fi beats, and I wanted to make lo-fi beats. I still do. I just I just don't know what direction and when that will happen. It just takes sometimes I don't know when things happen. It just it just takes me out of my uh, element, and and it's, just, it's mainly God what he was he's directed me to do versus my passion and and uh, like what I want to do right now uh, versus what is like the best thing for me you know sometimes what is good for you right now versus what is the best thing right now mm -hmm. so uh but we was trying to do um like lo-fi beats and stuff like that for great music um and i was going to use a lot of the clips from my mm -hmm. but uh yeah hopefully that happens in the future because i love editing i love avatar i love uh, making music but hey thank you guys for watching the whole video make sure you check out the previous video uh i'm gonna show you guys one thing that i uh, i'm very talented at i know People on TikTok, like girls on TikTok do this and like, you know, they have bras on and stuff like that and they blow up. I got you, Ben. But I ain't got no bras on, but I got I got one thing. I got good teeth take from Africa. Off. Straight, no, I'm not doing any teeth. You want me to take my shirt off? I'm just kidding, you can't. Oh, should I just be dramatic, be like, ah, take the shirt off and then pop this off? All right, I'm gonna do that. If you want to. Right. If it blows up on TikTok, I'll post it in the next video, all right? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yes, sir. Let me know whenever it's recording. All right. Oh, I got. I gotta show y'all something, man. Y'all ready? This is never done before on TikTok. Oh! What the heck? I'm just kidding. Maybe you scared Tomorrow, me. Hey, but get you some cup like that. Yes, uh, get you some canes. Yeah. My pack's coming in. Oh, it what hurt. It? it hurt. It's, it's flex, sore. Flex, it's, it's sore. Flex. It's sore. It's sore. Nice. I've been working out. See? See this? Sexy. I need to get rid of that. 
Alright guys, we out. Peace. Peace. In the Middle East.